Yeah, welcome to whatever this is. Um, hopefully everybody's doing okay, or as okay as they possibly can be in these trying times. When I mean trying times, it's... Yeah, it's not really trying times right now. Yeah, it's not trying times, so, um... Yeah, it's not trying times. It's just, um... Doing things. Um, currently I am all over... I am pretty much all over Tumblr for some reason. It just sort of... You know when things just sort of happen for no reason, and once, and then next thing you know, boom, you are on um, you are on a site. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel right now. It just, it just sort of happened. You know. Yeah, uh, just sort of um, just sort of happened there. Um, yeah, it just sort of happened. Like, it was, like, all the way, like, yesterday afternoon, I just ended up being on, um, Tumblr. And, um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, all, all of a sudden, it's just, like, um... Yeah, all of a sudden it's pretty much like, um, I wanted to find a picture that I actually, like, look, like, I ended up, what's the word I'm looking for? I ended up, like, re, we, uh, re, re-blogging? Because I, I legitimately don't, um, yeah, I actually don't, um, What's the word I'm looking for? I just don't, um... I don't usually go on Tumblr all that much. Um... But it just happens. You know? It, it just sort of happened. And then, now that I just played a song, I, I, I'm all over that. Like, now I'm all over... When he was 14, nothing except that one time followed by it's such horrible things. That was the song that I was looking for for a little bit. A song called Such Horrible Things. Oh my goodness. I I completely forgot about these um this band called um Creature Feature. Um that's a whoops. And it's not even yeah, it's not even, um, yeah, it's not even funny. I just so happened to, like, I forgot about that, and then all of a sudden, boom. But I can't really find any. Oh, Eric X decided to leave the band shortly after their second album, and that was 2011. Okay. So, um. Mm. Okay. Um. Holy crumbs. I, uh, didn't know. Um. Yeah, I actually, um. Yeah, I actually forgot about that. So, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um. So, yesterday, I didn't go to work. I couldn't go to work yesterday because I am... I was not well. My mind was not well yesterday. I did not want to go outside. So, I called in sick. Locked myself in my room. And, um, proceeded to do absolutely nothing. Except, you know, just being on TV tropes. I wasn't even sleeping. I didn't even sleep at all. What ended up happening was I just, just like, all over the place. Like, my head was like, yeah, let's just, um, let's just go to, let's just, like, stay home, you know? 
Oh, unholy made partner. I should congratulate her. I should absolutely congratulate her. She made partner. Congrats on making partner. Um, yeah, maybe I should just, uh, Hold on, let me. Hello, thank you. Taking notes in the Spain letter K hit second page on first book. Um. Yeah, she's actually made partner. Like, holy crumbs. <laughs> it was just a clip. It's fine. Holy crumbs, like. It was just a clip. That's fine. Yeah. Um. It's insane. Like, I barely go on a stream. I I knew like. Congrats to her. Like, absolutely congrats to her. It's not hard to play. It's hard to... I should just, like, um, shout her out. Yeah, I'm gonna shout her out. Once she gets the basics down, it's... There we go. There we go. Expand on your knowledge and your play style, and then it can take a while to find your play style. Um, how am I doing? I'm... Doing stuff. Things. There we go. You fly. I've never actually seen her play another another game. This is pretty much like um, Nami Serene. Whenever I see her, she usually streams like. Um, she usually streams, um, Des um, Zelda, um, Breath of the Wild. I almost said Breast of the Wild. I almost said Breast of the Wild. I just did, so, yep, whoops. That's an absolute whoops. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to go to work yesterday, because I just, I, I just couldn't. I just can't go. I couldn't go to work yesterday because, um, like, ah, uh, my my mind is just like, Ugh. you know, my mind was just, yeah, I can't do it. I really can't. Um, holy crumbs. Um. Yeah, she may partner, so go check her out. Um, yeah, but hopefully everybody's doing okay. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, hopefully everybody's just doing things or whatever. Doing things or whatever. So um, what ended up happening was I was just home in my room, just locked myself in my room. Um, the only place I actually went is the washroom. Um, yeah, I only went to the washroom and, uh, to take a shower. Alarm didn't go off. Sorry to hear that. Um, I woke up at around 30 minutes ago. Well, 45 minutes ago now. But how are you, Jenny Cat? Ah. Uh, yeah, I hope you're doing okay. Um, sorry that your alarm didn't go off. Um, I haven't seen you since, like, I don't know, 22 hours ago, when I was wearing the exact same thing. Which isn't bad, though, because a lot of, you, like, here's the thing. Like, now, I woke up, like, 10 minutes ago. Okay, so, okay, that's totally fine. Tired? I get that. I absolutely get that. Um, I feel kind of, sort of, refreshed. I mean, kind of, sort of refreshed. Um, so, um, I didn't go to work yesterday because I was just so mad um, at the place I was working at. And uh, thankfully, today's going to be the last day I have before the two days off. Um, I should probably, like, um, call, like talk to my boyfriend. Bop. Yeah, my boyfriend and I don't really talk that much because he's at work and um, we're pretty much like 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 screw Walmart. Screw Walmart. Yeah, um, yeah, my, like, my sister, like, here's the thing. Um, my sister asked me if I, um, did any, if I actually went to work. I'm like, yeah, I went to work, but, uh, I went early. Um, and I came home. Um, yeah, I went, I came home and I went, came, like, I came home at around, like, six hours. I told her this. And, um... What what ended up happening was um, she asked me how I would fu how I liked the hours, and I'm like, um, I don't like the hours. Um, she told me that I should like tell some tell some people higher up, and then like it doesn't seem to matter because um, they don't care. They they like I told them I told her that yeah um, the higher ups don't care. They just want to get money. So. Um, yeah, it's gonna happen no matter what. And uh, she said, "Yeah, a lot of people are gonna quit their jobs." And like, I'm like, "Yes, they are going to quit their jobs. That's the thing. They are, and they're gonna actually like get replaced with other people. And they already cut out like, gonna miss some of the this to remove the stream delay. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, um, the employee, some of the, a lot of the employee." A lot of the employees have already been, like, cut out, so they don't have jobs anymore. So Walmart just, like, removed, um, just straight up removed them. Um, they're just gonna remove them from, um, uh, their, um, um, roster. So, um, yeah, so they're just making room for, like, making more money just to make things efficient. So yeah, eventually um, Walmart's not gonna need people anymore, and uh, we're all just like everybody's just gonna get fired and let go. So eventually the the factory I'm working at's gonna close down. That's that's pretty much like the gist of it. They're just gonna close down the factory. Um, so yeah, Walmart does not give a flying f about like people. So. Uh, Walmart does not care about like human rights, you know. Walmart doesn't care about human beings, so um, cheers to them, and I really hope that they can uh, choke on a penis, suck on a penis, choke on their, suck on a penis, choke on the semen, and rot in hell. Cheers. Um, welcome back, Jenny Cat. Um. But yeah, I just didn't go to work yesterday. Um, I told my sister, um, like my sister told me about a few, like um, asked me how I felt about um, the hours. And I'm like, well, I understand why they did it, even though they are like dirty, rotten bastards. I mean, I'm cleaning up my language, but um, yeah, I'm cleaning up my language. But like, I don't want to swear. Um... Because I'm trying to keep this at least PG-13. Despite what happened yesterday's stream. But yesterday I just stayed home and I just um, locked myself in my room. And I was on a lot of streams. I was on um, Brevy Bunch stream. I was on um, Bicycle Brioche stream. Um, yeah, Bicycle Brioche stream. Um, Deathly Darling stream. DJ Apple Omega stream. Like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I was on there. And on top of that, um, at the very last moments before I had to go to bed, I ended up playing Dark Souls again. Um, and once again, I've been cursed. I've been cursed once again in that game. So it sucks. Um, Lockborn Samurai, how are you? Hopefully you're doing okay. Um, let me... Um, let me give you a shout out. Yes, Lockborn, Dark Souls. Absolutely Dark Souls. Um Yeah. You see these? You see all these? I've started playing Dark Souls. Again, last year, October of last year, 
I'm still on this game. And you see this? Does everybody see this game? The, specifically the first Devil May Cry. Where everybody I know said that the first Devil May Cry game is extremely difficult. I have beat the first Devil May Cry. Oh, you don't see it? Okay, hold on a minute. Let me let me let me see this. See this see this game right here? Yeah, the first Devil Devil May Cry. It has the first three games. Um yes, it has the first three games here. Um and everybody says you still don't see it? Okay, how's this? So the first this is the first Devil May Cry game right here. Um, the first Devil May Cry game, everybody says it's a, it's a very hard game, and yet I've beat that game three times. So whenever somebody tells me that uh, Devil May Cry is a hard game, I say to them, I have no idea what you're talking about. So people should go buy this game, you know? Um, Devil May Cry 1, 3... Yeah, one, three, four, and five. Yeah, those are the those are all the Devil May Cry games you need. That's it. This is that's the only Devil May. Those are the only four Devil May Cry games you need. There is no. There is none between. Devil May Cry one and three. So, yeah. Hopefully, like this helps. Um, but yeah, um. I've been playing Dark Souls for a while, so um, I'm trying to beat Dark Souls. It's been six months since I've tried to beat it, and I'm stuck. At this point, I'm just going to go throw my controller out the window because I forgot to charge my controller. Elden Ring consumes me, Kiara. Yes, Lockborn, I know. Wanna know how I know? Because every single time I... You know, my Steam account is open for all the time, for some reason, even though I use it. And every time I see your name pop up in the bot bottom right corner, there you are saying that you've been playing Elden Rings. And I thought to myself, there is no way in hell that Lockborn is playing Elden Ring all this time. Holy crumbs, what does that say? A hundred hours? The game barely is three weeks old. How many... You know what? I'm. You know what? Hold on. Let me, let me back this up right here. 167. Actually, that's a lot... That's actually a lo that's actually less of a higher number than I thought. Okay, that's actually 167 isn't bad. But I get but you know what, Lockborn? I get it. I get it. Last week I um I um went to my boyfriend's house and uh he tried to get me he told me beforehand he has Elden Ring. Ella is on her second or third playthrough. Oh my gosh. I could barely get... Okay. My goodness gracious. Okay. So... 167 hours, but it's addicting. I get it. Lockborn, I absolutely get it. I went to my boyfriend's house last weekend. And he has Elden Ring. And... Uh, before I went to bed, like he, like we were doing stuff. I mean, maybe I should just say this. After we um, were doing things, um, uh, he uh went to bed and I was still awake because he had work and he just needed to sleep. What ended up happening was I was still awake and I couldn't go to sleep. So what happened was um, I ordered something online uh, on Skip the Dishes. I ordered two bags of chips, um, a couple of big Reese's cups, and um, 
what's it called? A couple of Reese's Cups and um, uh, just w started watching a Netflix account. Um, no, a net, not no. I what I uh, watched something on the about the comedy show, and I'm like, huh. You know what? I'm gonna wa I'm gonna play Elden Ring. I'm just gonna play Elden Ring since I'm still awake. Um, oh my, I need to do this for Sad Girls Night. Sad Girls Nights? What, um, just like, order two bags of chips? Um, two bags of chips, uh, a couple of Reese's Pieces cups, and, uh, a two liter bottle of Coke? I didn't know, I, I, I actually forgot that was supposed to be in, it turned out that they were Elden Ring Ice cream, yes. Um, I'm not a big fan of ice cream as much as I used to. I sense tension in the room that I just said that ice cream is something I don't really like anymore, but whatever. So um, I accidentally prepared myself for Elden Ring. And um, when you say it's addicting, it's quite addicting because I have never had a session. I have never had a gaming session that lasted three straight hours. Like Elden Ring. I, like, I was watching somebody play Elden Ring while I was playing uh, Elden Ring on my boyfriend's PS4. I played for... Th no, not, not three hours. Five straight hours. I played Elden Ring for five straight hours. After I was done watching either Netflix or Crave. Because I'm like, there is no way I'm going to get interested. And then it happened. I was like, okay, one hour comes by. Okay, I've been dying. I've been dying because this a-hole on the horse is killing me. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to grind. And I'm like, I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding just to level up. And it's... I woke up my boyfriend at one point because I was, like, really irritated. I was genuinely irritated about the fact that about the, uh, a lot of times I, I wanted to level up on my character. I wanted to, and I kept doing it, and yet I kept dying over and over again. I have... Absolutely no idea. I have no idea why they would put a guy or a knight with a horse who can kill me easily at the beginning of the game. I have no idea as to why they would do that. Who does that? Who the hell does that? It t do you know how long it took me before people on the on their street on on a stream told me that, no, you're not supposed to do that. The, you have to go back to that person when you're at a higher level. Do you know how... Hold on, just give me a moment. Oh my god. Key Muxco, welcome. Thank you for the follow. I apologize. Um, I apologize for that minor mental breakdown. Um, I apologize so much. Um, I'm still not over the fact that I kept dying in Dark Souls and I played for five straight hours. At one point, my boyfriend actually woke up after... Okay, he had been... He had been asleep for six hours, hasn't he? So I actually stopped. He he told me just that he he took away the controller because I was playing for six straight out for like five straight hours and I was getting frustrated. He's like, "Just give me the controller, please. You're you, you're you're going to like destroy my controller. You you look like you're gonna throw the controller through my TV." And he just took it, and I was just, he just gave me a hug. I'm like, ur, ur, ur. and next thing I know, I fell asleep. <sighs> so, 
So I'm going to ask him if uh, he can buy um, Elden Ring for me. Don't you dare. Let me catch up on chat because I was just in that moment of Elden Ring. I... That is a that is something that that is something that I haven't I, I've never done before. Just had a five hour gaming session with a bag of potato chips and a two liter bottle of coke. Like I was doing the absolute nerd thing, and after I die, I just take a swig of Coca Cola. I've never done that before. Um, but Ki Muxco, welcome. I am Kiara Strings. I am a trans woman, and this is a chat for some reason about Elden Ring. I've been wanting to stream it, but I don't know. Hey, you know what? You do you, Lockborn. If you if you want to sh like, whether or not you're going to be streaming anytime soon. Uh, and from what I understand, you've been having a bit of a rough patch here and there, so it's totally fine. If you don't want to stream anytime soon, maybe later, go ahead. But you have been streaming, you have been playing the game for 167 hours. 167 hours is still a big number to me. But then again, your partner is on, her, on their second or third playthrough. Um, it is, it's a lot of fun. It's addicting, but I want to play Dark Souls for... Sorry, you, honestly, you... I woke up 30 minutes before you. But yeah, currently I'm playing Dark Souls, the first one. And I've been playing it for five and a half months. I am trying so hard to beat this game so I can play Dark Souls 2. I'm going to play them in order so nobody say anything. I want to play these games in order. And eventually when I beat Dark Souls in about 17 years, I will go on to Dark Souls 2. Um, but yeah, um, exclamation point donate. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, let me, whoops. Let me, let me, let me find this here. Where are you? Where are you here? Um. Oh, crap. Where, where am I? Oh, crap. Where? I'm an idiot. It's right here. So... This is this is my friend Holly. She is a trans woman, and her friends actually have made a GoFundMe account um, for um, gender affirming surgery. So, um, so the goal here is seven thousand dollars, and two thousand dollars have been raised. Um, so yeah, two thousand dollars have been raised so far. Um, and I am going to keep this up until either they take this fundraiser down or they, um, or the goal has been made. So this fundraiser has been going on for about nine months. No, no, sorry. Three and a, three and a half months. So, yeah. So I want to, like, help my friend because she's an absolute good friend and she's absolutely amazing and she deserves... Um, gender affirming surgery. Um, absolutely. Um, but welcome in, Kamuxco. Um, I apologize. Sorry, sorry if you caught me in the middle of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a, what was it called? Elden Ring rant. I apologize. I kind of screwed up my head. Um, Elden Ring rant. Jenny Cat's like, oh my goodness, what the hell's going on? So, yesterday, I was playing Dark Souls, and I finally got Pyromancy. I finally got it after, like, five hours. But, um, yeah, five hours, um, no, five, five months. Yeah, good heavens. And I'm gonna throw, uh, Dark Souls into heaven after it all get, uh, got me through um my goodness dark souls is just hurting me dark souls is pretty much like dark souls that includes bloodborne and elden ring 
those games are pretty much like masochism. They hurt the soul sometimes. But you can't help but go back over and over again. It's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much like that. It's pretty much what happens if, like, you chain me up in a chair, put a ball gag in my mouth, um, slap me across the face, um, put tweezer, like, put, a, hook me up to a car battery, pour me in, like, make me, like, um, take out my ball gag, put maple syrup in my mouth, put back the ball gag, and just, you know, shock me. Just put the, put the car battery attached to my, um, my chest, and just do it. Just go for it. It'll hurt. It'll absolutely hurt, but you know what? But you know what? Sometimes I just want to, I just want more. You know? Because sometimes it really hurts. The body might not take it, but your soul is just swimming in ecstasy. Just nothing but ecstasy. Just swimming, swimming in whipped cream. And just having your soul just replenished after every single whip. And you just go harder, daddy, harder. Make me go everywhere. Just make me. Just make me go on an emotional roller coaster of ecstasy and chaos. Fill my brain with so much to the point to where I can't handle anymore. And it just keeps going and going. It won't stop until you just explode. And when you're done, you just don't want you just want to get into bed. You just want to get into bed and then just like cuddle and have sweet and pleasant dreams before they come into nightmares. And then the ecstasy roller coaster happens again. And you can't wait to be awake so it could happen again in real time. Well, where was I going with this? Wait. Wait, where was I? Where was I? Good thing nobody heard that. Oh, wait. Jenny Cat. Oh. For those of you... Okay, listen. For those of you who are shocked, remember, this is the early, early strain. I have said a lot worse on these strains. I have mentioned fingering people. I've mentioned murdering people. I've mentioned... Um, setting things on fire. I've mentioned um, I've mentioned orgies. I've mentioned castrations. I've mentioned what I would do to my boyfriend whenever I see him, which are pretty much R-rated slash NC-17, to the point to where only fanfiction and DeviantArt people who follow me on fanfiction and DeviantArt know what I do. For legal reasons, I'm not allowed to say what my DeviantArt account is, nor am I allowed to um, say what my fanfiction account is. Because um, I'm trying to keep this at least TOS, despite the fact that I just mentioned fingering people. Sorry, I just thought of my boyfriend again. Um, Aww... He's at work. He's at work now. Damn it. Okay. But yeah, finally got into Dark Souls. Um, fingering, you say? Oh, yes. When the lights are off. Yes. When the lights are off. That's when it all begins. This is the early, early stream. After dark. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I'm going to ignore that. Hi, Viron. She, her. Welcome, Viron. I, uh, my gender is she, her. And welcome to the early, early stream. 
where we're uh, going to get back to brass tacks and um, focus. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am jacked. Just let me... Um, wow, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I do yoga. My boyfriend says the same thing. I'm kind of sort of jacked, but you know, that's what he likes. We're both switches, but he damn well knows that I like to be on top. He damn, he damn well loves me on top. Because he likes a girl that can pin him, go on top of him, and be sweet, sweet to him. Oh, you better be scared. Because not all guys like that, but my boyfriend is not all guys. My boyfriend? I am 11 years old. Then, um, this is not the stream for you, I apologize. This is not the stream for you. You might want to leave right now because this is going to get a little bit dicey right here. So, um, yes, this is going to be 18 plus right here. I'm going to find a new... Don't worry, I'll be, I'll be done in five minutes. Although it takes... Although, honestly, it takes my boyfriend longer than five minutes. So we're just going to turn out the lights here. You know, because, um, as somebody who's jacked, thank you for saying that I'm jacked. But, um, yeah, this is not the stream for you. Usually it'd be like PG-13, but, you know... He just likes a girl on top sometimes, and I like him on top. And once I see him again, I'm going to pretty much be more jacked. I'll just get on top of his lap, and we're just going to do things that um, are going to be pretty much TOS. Just TOS. Just me, him. Just going all night. We're just going to go all night, and then we're going to explore each other, go all the way exploring each other. It'll be teasing at first, but slowly, slowly but surely, just gripping tight each other, moaning into each other's mouths afterwards, harder. Harder, harder, until we just both moan in ecstasy, as we moan into each other's mouths, as we pretty much complete ourselves, and then we just lie next to each other. I have to take a cold shower, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously, I, after the stream, I have to take a cold shower. Give me a moment. Hold on a minute. Give me a moment. Hold on a minute.
Okay, I'm okay for now. Sorry, I just had a tall glass of water, so if at any point I start getting loopy, let me. Mm. Um, Santa Stubborn, how are you? Thank you for the lurk. Oh, things are looking strange right now, so, um, that was not a good idea for me. Um, let me catch up on chat right here. Um, buff woman make me, I must restrain myself. Go for it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with exploding. I shouldn't, that, there has to be another way of saying that. Um, what's even the age limit for Twitch? 18. Definitely age team. You might be breaking TOS. I don't care. I absolutely don't care if I'm breaking TOS. Like, what, what are they gonna do? Like, destroy me? Oh my goodness. Ah. My puppy look, keeps watching looking concerned. I... Hi, puppy. Hopefully you're doing okay. Um, hopefully the puppy's doing okay. Um, wow. That was the first time I had a tall glass of water in the morning. I have to get out of... I have to go to work in like five hours. So, um, yeah, that's a whoops. This is going to be a quite a kooky day. Yeah, but seriously, um, I actually have to go take a cold shower after this. Other than that, I'm going to have to call my boyfriend later on. I am going to call my boyfriend later on. I really should have just, like, taken a walk at least, instead of had a tall glass of water. Thankfully, it's only been like two puffs. I mean, two glass, two sips of a tall glass of water. Yeah, I smell it now. This this orange juice is expired. Oh shit. Um, but it's not orange juice, it's water. So, yeah. I'm gonna ask my boyfriend if he can get me Dark Souls. Just, I need Dark, no, 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 Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Not Dark Souls, I have Dark Souls. It's right here. But yeah, I, I will beat Dark Souls hopefully soon. Yeah, the water's kind of hitting me a little bit. Yeah, the water's gonna hit is kind of hitting me, but if like if I concentrate, I could at least have the stream go for at least forty minutes. At least. Um But Lockborn, your name has been on my stream title since you left. So whenever somebody sees my stream, they see your your uh, name, and then they're going to Blackstar. How are you? Good morning. Um, so anytime somebody sees me, you, they'll see your name as well, and they're essentially telling me, tell I'm essentially telling them to go follow you. Um, have I really not? Ch I, um. I don't know. I think ever since your last stream on Twitch, I said, hey, people should go follow Lockborn Samurai. And I'm like, okay. Then um, it just pretty much, um, it was pretty much one of those situations um, that I didn't actually change. I've never changed the second half of my stream titles, just like giving you a shout out. And it's been the second, it's been the same way since... December of last year. Holy crumbs. Around the time that I ended up getting COVID. Um. Oh, but Blackstar. Oh, nice. 
I haven't seen I haven't seen um Blood Glow stream in a long while. I miss her streams, by the way. I'm just yeah, here's the thing. I want to shout out everybody, okay? That's the thing. I wanna shout I wanna shout out you, I wanna shout out Epolite. Please do people read title. Do yeah, sometimes you should a lot of the times I kinda forget what I do. You miss streaming. I understand. Like, I understand on your Discord um, that you weren't ready and you were doing, you were busy moving, so it takes a lot of energy. So it's totally fine. Like, here's the thing. Mo yeah, moving takes a lot of energy, so it's totally f I hate how this window is. Moving takes a lot of spoons. A lot of spoons. And then, like, you're not sure where you are sometimes. You know... You know how to. You know you have to get from point A to point B, but sometimes point A and point B aren't that close. They're pretty much like this. Sometimes they're like really far away. So it's totally fine if you eventually need to go to from A to B, because some people can do it in like less than a month, but some other people take. A couple of years or so just to go from point A to B so honestly Lockboard you take your time you stream on your discord absolutely stream on your discord um, I would love to watch your streams on discord the problem is um, I'm watching other people on Twitch and also I'm doing thing things I'm doing things so um, I, if I watch it, you're going to hear my voice and you're going to hear me say a few things that are going to be unsavory because of Dark Souls. That son of a... How does... I don't get how people could actually play Dark Souls like a speed run. How do people do it? I don't know how you do it, Lockborn. I don't know how a lot of other people... I don't even know how... I don't know how Lockborn does it. I don't know how DJ Alpha Omega does it. Like, how? Did you get past that boss yet? Which boss? Blood was out to Cali yet? Oh, so that's why I don't see her. She's out to Cali. Um, which boss, by the way? Um, because I was... Last time I told people about Dark Souls, I think... Yeah, Dark Souls rules? Okay, okay, Dark Souls rules. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. For you, Dark Souls rules. The one that kept beating you. Um, actually, I don't remember. Here's the thing. There was no boss. I just went into a direction that was not... It was not where I was supposed to be. So, I couldn't. Like, I couldn't... There was no real boss. It was just places that were better than me. They were pretty much skeletons that kept coming out of the ground. Yeah, that sums it up. Um, so, in hindsight, uh, according to my boyfriend, I was way under-leveled. So, um, so I actually had to go further down another way, up the stairs, and then, like... No, not up the stairs. Invisible Girl, how are you? I hope you're doing okay. Um... We were just talking Dark Souls somewhat. And I just had a tall glass of water, so things are going to be a little bit weird for me. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hitting me now, but I hope you're doing okay. I'm glad to see you on Bisected Stream, by the way. Um, so, um, according to my boyfriend, uh, he told me on Dark Souls that I went to the wrong place. So I actually, instead of going underground, I actually had to go to the main area and go back upstairs I think and then I like went back up went around yes um went through there yeah yeah looking back some like you know a feeling you get like when you look back at something that was difficult like a year prior and then right now it's like I don't know why I was stuck on this. This is super, super easy. That's how I felt about Dark Souls right now. Like, there's that place in Dark Souls where there's a huge dragon. 
Like, there is a huge dragon that's blowing fire, but you're not there yet. So you actually have to go down through a sewer, and then you go through a to a castle uh, after you get downstairs. And, um, yeah, so I ended up, like, going around, and uh, I, went, I eventually got to the main foyer again. And, uh, I don't know, yeah, so that's how I ended up, like, getting pyromancy in Dark Souls yesterday. I played Dark Souls for two and a half hours, I, because I needed to level up. The suffering in Dark Souls is like an allegory for how hard transition is for me anyway. Well, the Dark Souls franchise is pretty much like an allegory for trans representation, or allegories. So that's what I've heard, specifically Dark Souls 3. Um, but Black Star, you actually missed the most R-rated part of the stream. Um, me talking sensually. I mean, me talking sensually like this. No, you know what? No, apparently it's against TOS. I should make a game where it asks you your tr thoughts on trans people, and if you say you hate them, it makes you lose all the time. Okay, so, you know, Turf Island is definitely never going to win that game. Um, Saskatchewan is definitely not going to win that game. And, um, yeah, um, any homophobic mother effer is going to lose that game. Pyromancy is best magic. Honestly, here's the thing. When I first started playing Dark Souls, I legitimately thought that, um, I, I honestly, I legitimately thought... And I'm not joking here. I legitimately thought that if I pick one class that's not a wizard or anything, you can't learn magic at all. Turns out, as of yesterday after saving that guy in a barrel, yes I can. Um, yeah, so I, I, yeah, I pretty much like started learning uh, pyromancy. And tomorrow, after I get go to the bank for a few things, after I um, after I go for my blood test, I'm gonna come back here and I am going to straight up play Dark Souls like for at least all day, because if I can play Elden Ring for five straight hours up until the point to where I wake up thirty minutes before I usually stream which is around 5.45 or something. Um, yeah, I usually, I'm just going to play all day and all night. Um, Turf Island already is looking at the game. They put it on hard mode with a Brexit setting. Let's hang up on them, shall we? Um, fireballs are so up. Yes, they are OP, sorry, OP. Um, they are so far. I, I'm choosing combustion right now, so there's a, there's a place. Pick a right time to drop by. Well, honestly, it's the early, early stream. Uh, unless you're a Canadian, everywhere else is pretty much like... Wait, why is it called the early, early stream? It's like 3 p.m. here. It's like, I'm Canadian. You can't tell by my accent, but I'm changing my... I'm, my voice has changed enough so nobody can tell if I am Canadian. In fact, um... Yeah, in fact, people actually have to ask me if I, where I'm from. I'm like, don't you hear me saying a boot? Or me talking about, like, you know, hydro instead of me saying power? Or me injecting maple, I mean, drinking maple syrup? Um, yeah. Yeah, the water's kind of hitting me there. Um, I should not have done that. Um, but, um... Danny of the internet, welcome. Holy crumbs, welcome. Uh, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. We were talking about Dark Souls, and I just had a... I'm about to get water myself. And when you get water, make sure you hit it hits, you know? Um, I could tell you can, because I almost vomited when I first came in. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jenny Cat. I'm really sorry. I can't sleep. Don't worry, um, we're just going to have a good time here. Hi, Denny. Okay, so um, this goes out for the people who can't sleep right here. Um, we are going to put on some jazz. Um, oh, wait, we don't have jazz? We don't have jazz right now? Okay, the internet's down, and so it's just going to be us. 
I could tell you're Canadian because I almost vomited when I first came in. Well, Jenny Cat, Jenny Cat, that actually is pretty much, that's pretty much um, what everybody does whenever they see me for the first time, almost vomiting. That is exactly what my boyfriend did the first time we talked on OK Cupid. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But the first time we talked on uh, OK Cupid, he pretty much he pretty much told me like a while later. The first time we talked on OK Cupid, I pretty much was like, "So, um, you like Mass Effect?" And no joke, no joke. My boyfriend, my future boyfriend, saw me type, "So you like Mass Effect?" And he's like. That was pretty much him. No self depi or you go to jail and do not collect two hundred dollars. Okay, fine. Then I'll guess I'll finally if I go to jail, I'm probably gonna live my own. Orange is the new black. Um Don't feed her. Oh no. Yeah. But we were talking about um we were talking about um, Dark Souls right now and the fact that I finally yesterday, like literally literally four hours ago, I finally got Pyromancy. I don't know. I Like like I said before, like I thought if you chose a class you, you like one thing is left out. Like if you're a wizard, no. If you're a swordsman, like a knight, and you pick a knight, you can't learn pyromancy or any sort of magic or whatever. Bacon, same. I don't know which one, but welcome, fun, welcome, um, TB. Once again, we're talking Dark Souls right here. Miss Orange, shame it peaked at season two. Yes, like that's that's saying. Okay, hi, saying. Um, hopefully you're doing okay. Um, really, I hope you're doing okay. Um, but yeah, so, like, a lot of, here's the thing, is it not, I'm not a Dark Soul, here's the thing, I'll tell you what, Chloe, and everybody in chat, I'll tell you what. When I beat Dark Souls, which is going to be in the next three decades, I am going to stream Dark Souls. When I beat it. When I ever beat it. I have absolutely no idea how anybody could stream Dark Souls and speedrun it. Let me drink my water real quick, BRB. Nice. Better than she was a Fortnite streamer. Oh, don't get me started on the Fortnite streams. Last time I played Fortnite, I ended up almost crying on stream. So, yeah, I am not going to ever play Fortnite. Like, that is a fact right here. And I made that promise on Twitter and on um, Twitch. I am never going to play Fortnite ever again. Because if a game somehow makes you somehow depressed, the only reason I play Dark Souls is because of this. Because of... Because I wanted to do something for my friend. And, like, I wanted to raid... Uh, I wanted to stream um, Fortnite until Bisector Brioche actually started streaming. And I only got up to three hours before I just went... I can't do this. I can't play Fortnite. I, I can't play Fortnite anymore. You know, I can't do it. I'm not, I'm, no, I'm, I can't. I can't, I can't play Fortnite. I, you can pay me enough so the whole house could be paid and then some, but I'm not playing Fortnite ever again. Because if it just pretty, like, the moment I turned it off, I, the moment I stopped streaming on that Fortnite day, I ended up having to like go downstairs to my kitchen, get food, and just cry in bed. Like I actually had to cry. And people have seen me cry on stream. But sometimes I cry after stream. Um, but like this Fortnite, like here's the thing. The Fortnite, like the hatred and depression for Fortnite was so bad. I actually have I actually had to like go like get food, go in my bed here and cry while eating. I didn't think that was a thing that would ever happen, but it actually nobody tells you that you cry you would cry in bed while eating something 
until it actually happens. You know? It actually happened on January of earlier this year. Like, like I was legitimately, sh like, this was like, I was pretty much like, <laughs> like, it was pretty much like that. Except I didn't use my hands. I just used a fork. Like, I was crying and eating for about um, half an hour. And then next thing I know, I woke up in the plate of an empty plate. And I woke up feeling a lot better. So, yeah. Crying and ice cream. It was crying and uh, dinner from two days ago. I'm glad that you're doing okay for the most part, Saiyan. Holy crap, it's Lockborn. Yes, I'm surprised too. Um, we don't talk about Fortnite, night, night, night. We don't talk about Fortnite. Except sometimes. Um, hey, Saiyan, I was making a reference. I know, um, Enchanto. I know, I know. I watched it with Chloe. We watched it together, you know? I was, we, like, me and my boyfriend and you and Kim and somebody else watched it together. So I know what reference you were making, so it's okay. I miss you and I'm so happy to get via updates via Instagram. I hope you're taking good care of yourself. Nauseam. Yes, nauseam. Yeah, nauseam. Um, nauseam was the one who hosted... Um, the channel, and then we ended up play, uh, watching half of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and uh, so I am going to have to like go see my boyfriend, and we're going to have to like um, watch the rest of the uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show because I, I know honestly going in, I know nothing about Rocky Horror Picture Show at all. Um, I hope you're taking good care of yourself. Um, I I don't go on Instagram. I just follow. I just go on uh, Lockborn's Discord and find out what's been going on. Um, crying and eating is best mood. It is. It absolutely is. Um, like, I feel, yeah, it's... It was... Like, that is a whole arse mood. It is. It genuinely is. Like, usually I would eat in my bed and just watch people on Twitch, but, like... That moment where you're just going to be like, huh, I am going to like, I am just, a, a video game made me cry in the not best, in the not good way. I'm just going to go into my bed and I'm going to just eat something while crying. I've never had anything happen like that happen to me. Except the time I accidentally ate my pet fish. I don't think it was mine. No, I don't think that was my fish. Um, that's why there's a but. Yeah. I feel like being sad and eating ice cream is a cliche. I've seen that in so many movies and shows. Here's the thing, Jenny Cat. You see it. You see it in movies, but a lot of the time it's heartbreak. Like, heart, like pure heartbreak. It's like whenever like somebody gets dumped, it's always like eating ice cream and being sad. Um, uh, yeah, usually it's, it's not, it's not a cliche anymore. If it's actually true, it's like you see it on TV a lot and it's like, <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. And then you have your heart broken and it's like, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go be sad, eat ice cream in my room and just not care. Just lock myself in the wet in my room and, um, you know, what, like, I want to watch movies with Kiara. You do not want that. Saying you do not want that. Like, honestly, you do not, you do not, you don't want that. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want that. Because I've watched Mystery Science Theater 3000, and that has kind of ruined me. Um, like, I can't help but make comments at all. Like, before, before October 31st, 2012... Um, I would watch movies and be, and either laugh, cry, be scared, 
or all three at the same time. And now, I, ever since I watched my first Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode back on Halloween of 2012, I can't watch a single thing without making a comment. Can't believe you've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've heard a couple of songs, but I've never... Sweet... Tra no. I didn't. Re I never heard the whole thing. Time Warp? Yeah, I've only heard one full Rocky Horror Picture Show song. And that was because it was playing on the speakers of a theater production I was in. A theater production of Arsenic and Hold Old Lace. Movie Night on Friday? No. Maybe another time because I really want to play Dark Souls and I actually want to get, you know, further along. No, it was my fish? Oh, okay. I apologize. I'm going to throw it out back. I, no, I, I better not. It's already gone. <coughs> like, uh, let me see. I'm amazed. Like, how are you liking Elden Ring? I'm amazed. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Lockborn, yeah, like she said, I have my complaints, but it's fun. I'm like 167 hours at the moment. Um... Looks good. My brother's playing it, and I'm probably borrowing it. Yeah, like, I watched it. No, I played it for three hours the last time I was at my boyfriend's house. Okay, not three hours. Five straight hours. While I had, like, two bags of uh, potato chips. I was a total ner I did the stereotypical nerd thing of just, like, lying in bl bed playing a video game for five hours while I had a bag of chips... Two bag of chips and a two liter bottle of Coca Cola. That is the that is, is I don't know if that's the ultimate like nerdy thing. They actually dropped a big update. I saw um uh, I actually saw the update on um not saw but I heard about the update um on DG Alpha Omega stream yesterday. Um Lockborn is going to play a bit more, and when she means a bit more, she means about 200 hours worth. It's going to go, like, her playing that game is going to go to 200 hours, by the way. I make comments a lot, too. Yeah, same, but I just, they're sarcastic comments from me. From me, whenever I watch a movie now, they're sarcastic comments, and this is why you can't take me to a movie theater, because one... Because of COVID, I'm kind of afraid still. And um, I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm not gesturing to anything. Just doing this because it feels good because I just had water. Um, that fish is long gone. Yeah, it's joined the oceans invisible. Um, I'm already level 145. A hundred level forty-five. May you, okay, Lockborn. May you please tell everybody how long each day that you um that you play that you play um Dark Souls. Cause if you're at level one hundred forty-five, and the and the um and the game's been out for like three weeks. That means you've dedicated at least three and a half hours each day just to get to that level. I need 99 stats and everything. Yeah, I should probably do that too. Uh, my friend Sheldon is usually playing Elden Rings every time I see what he's doing on Xbox. I was going to make a Big Bang Theory joke, but I can't. I really, really, really can't right now. Because, uh, for one thing, I said I'm a nerd, but I also said I was smart. And have, you know, good taste. Ouch. Um, for those of you who are Big Bang Theory people, one, I apologize, but go back to Saskatchewan with all the other redneck hicks. Um, two, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The Big Bang Theory is way better than Saskatchewan. 
Welcome back, Danny of the Internet. We missed you. How is your tall glass of tall glass of water? Wink, wink. You need 99 stats and everything? Yeah, I should probably ground myself. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, you need to be level 666. Yes. Or 999. As in 1999, the year of his return. Did I just make an end of days reference? I made a reference to an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie nobody has ever talked about since 2007? And three, she's kidding about kidding. Yes, I am kidding about kidding. I've never seen Jim Carrey's TV show Kidding that only lasted two seasons. I'm, I'm guessing that... Does everybody... Did anybody know that Jim Carrey actually had another TV show? Whatever. 713 is level cap. I'll be there. Oh. The grind is real. Honestly, the grind is absolutely real. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I thought, like, the grind is absolutely real. Last time I was with my boyfriend, I was at level 16, and I'm like, ha, huh, I'm pretty good at this game. And then he um, played his file where he's like level 74, and I'm like, I feel so inadequate. So uh, then I'm like, you know what? I don't have to feel inadequate. And then I just like, like um, went behind him, pulled him up, like pulled him on his back, pretty much pulled him on his back, and got on top of him. Just straight up got on top of him and made him shudder. Say, you know what, sweetie? Sweetie, just listen to me very carefully. You might be the stronger character in, you might have the stronger character in Elden Rings between the both of us, but you damn well know, you absolutely damn well know that the fact that I'm pinning you to your bed with my strong buff arms that you so desperately want, you damn well know that I am the stronger one. that you never, ever, ever, ever showed off your character like that. But you'll know that whenever you say you have a strong character in a game, I'm going to pin you down so much. And you're going to look into my eyes and you're going to call me your goth mom. Training montage. Yes, you all need a training montage. We're going to have a montage. It takes me 145k in ruins to level up. Whoop. Oh my god. That is a long time. Times that I do not have. Did I have... What ha Oh, shoot. I may have taken... I may have teased a lot of people there. It was an SNL skit the whole time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's usually the punchline because I am definitely not going to tell the early, early stream isn't real. Just a product of Jimmy Fallon. That is not true. That is absolutely true. One of us is funny. The other is on late night. But, like, you know, I can be funny. Um... I came like three times during that bit. I had to go take a five minute shower after this stream because of what I said. Or do I? 
You know, I have to. I used to think Jimmy Fallon was cool, but then he bought an NFT. Jenny Cat, I... That's under the assumption that Jimmy Fallon was ever cool. Because was he ever cool? Or was he just a Hollywood hype machine? I mean, there are people who are on SNL that are cool. Jimmy Fallon seems like a Hollywood hype machine. It's like, oh, he's the most popular person on SNL. Let's give him his own movie franchise. Oh, what's that? What's that right now? We can't? His movies suck? Except Fever Pitch? Wait, did anybody see... C you didn't see Fever Pitch. I don't believe you. So, you know, a, per a person with actual, like, movies that don't go anywhere. Let's give him a, uh, The Tonight Show. Really? Nobody else. You have to get Jimmy Fallon? Actually, I can think of worse people. You know what? If I had to choose between Jimmy Fallon and James Corden, yeah, Jimmy Fallon is pretty much better. Because you know what? As much as Jimmy Fallon is polarizing, at least he has like some credentials. Unlike James Corden, who's pretty much like if Jimmy Fallon was from the UK and sucked even more. Um, but, but, but do not compare the early, early stream to anything by Jimmy Fallon. Please don't. I came like three times during that bit. The, the bit where I just mouthed off to Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, I'm pretty wet right now. Uh, Thunder, like saying you have to get out of the rain then. If you're going to, if you're wet now, you have to, you have to get out of the rain. My finger is wet for no reason. I think the tall glass of water is hitting me. This is going to be a very interesting sleep. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of about to hit me a little bit. So we're going to go for at least until... Whew, you what? Nothing, Black Star. Absolutely nothing. You didn't hear anything at all. Okay, um, I'll call myself cute. I care a str I care strings. I'm a cute girl. I have been that way for a very long time. I'm only I'm cute ever since I started HRT. And I like to tie my hair in pretty ribbons with my long black skirt, and kiss all the cute boys and all the ki all the pretty girls. And wink at everybody I see because I'm a cute girl. Omg, that boss level. Sh Are you happy? Oh, I, I, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I forgot about, tum so I was on Tumblr yesterday. Oh, everybody, I was on Tumblr yesterday and you're not going to believe what happened. So I was on Tumblr and, um, where are you? No, that's not you. No, that's not you. Oh, no, this is you. So I was on Tumblr, um, yesterday just looking over, like, things and I found some old older pictures of me right here. Like, oh my goodness. This was from 2009. This is in the same room here. Um, I'm getting way too many people wet here. Like, this is, this is me with my first bass guitar in 2000, not nine. Was it 2009 or 2000? 2009. I think around the time. But saying you really have to get out of the rain or snow. But like this is like this is me back in two thousand nine, back when I had cornrows and my room was looking a little bit neater. And then cut to around twenty nineteen. And this is me right now. Like holy crumbs. Like I was looking over my like everything and it's like my second bass guitar and except everything is like a chaotic mess. This is back when my furniture was old. Like this right here, this is my furniture from 1998. This dresser, this is the place where I'm at right now. Like I'm sitting in front, the TV is right here and I'm sitting in front of it. Like it's right here, it's kind of surreal. No wait, that's over there, sorry, hold on. No, this is where everything everything is right now. This is my streaming setup. 
this is over there. But I was looking over at like a few things and I'm like, like I was looking at a picture from 2014 and this is a really bad picture. Not a great picture, but like I was on my laptop computer and I took a picture. Oh God. So I took a picture and uh, yeah, this is me pre-transition. And this is my friend who sadly moved away three years later. But my goodness, like, this is like Thursdays. Like, this is back when, like, my goodness. Thank you. Um, and uh, here's the person who pretty much is um, one of the reasons as to why. Okay, I go sleepies now. Ha um, have a great early, early stream. Thank you, Lockboard. I'm going to give you another shout out. I hope to see you soon. Honestly, it's been a while. Like, I hope to catch you on a stream. So, you you go to sleep. You take care of yourself. Please, for all of us who love and support you, um, take care of yourself, okay? I'll be back soon, love. Anytime. But for now, your, 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 the, your name is going to be in the titles. Sorry, I've been away for so long. It's only been three and a half months. Three months. Okay, two, two and a half months, Bob? Okay, two and a half months. So, it's totally fine. Your name is still going to be on my stream titles, by the way. But what am I looking for? Looking at? By Elden Ring. Referrals, letters for two mental health professions. Um, documentation of persistent, consistent gender dysphoria dating back at least 24 months. 12 continuous months of hormone place therapy. It's still fifty nine ninety nine, so I'm not going to. I am not. Yeah. Okay. Totally fine. Um. Ugh. Um. Sorry, I was just sneezing a lot. Um. But yeah, you know, whatever. Eventually, I'll think about it. Ah. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you so much for the biddies. Oh, my goodness. I love that song. So, yeah, I... My goodness. Yeah, it's been... It's been almost 13 months since I last had any sense of gender dysphoria. How about that? But thank you for the bits. Thank you so much, Lockborn. And you take care of yourself. Um, it's It's been a long while, actually. You know? Thanks to HRT, like... Everything, my my body is a little bit balanced right now. Um, you're cured. I don't need Elden Ring. Now I want to gift you Elden Ring via Xbox, but I was going to buy something for someone's birthday. Do not gift me Elden Ring, okay? I'm going to tell my boyfriend that I want Elden Ring in a not-so-subtle way, and he's going to get it from me for Xbox One. So no, do not get me Elden Ring. Do not get it from me. I, My boyfriend saw me play it for six straight hours. He's going to get it from me eventually, okay? Don't tell him. Chloe, if you tell him, I'm going to tell... I'm... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll, I'll think of something. I'll absolutely think of something. So, uh... Take that. Too late, I'm clipping it. Bull, bull, bull. Chloe, you don't have the guts. It's been over a minute. You, you're not going to be clipping anything. Um, so, um, what was I going to be talking about? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the tall glass of water is kind of sort of hitting me. Now I don't even remember what I do. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, really? Um. Well, crumbs. It can't be that clip, can it? Do not give me Elden Ring, okay? I'm going to tell my boyfriend that I want Elden Ring in a not-so-subtle way, and he's going to get it from me for Xbox One. So no, do not get me Elden Ring. Do not get it from me. I, My boyfriend saw me play it for six straight hours. He's going to get it from me eventually. Do not give me Elden Ring, okay? I'm going to tell my boyfriend that I want Elden Ring in a not-so-subtle way, and he's going to get it from me for Xbox One. 
So no, do not get me Elden Ring. Do not get it for me. Do not gift me Elden Ring, okay? I'm gonna tell my boyfriend that I want Elden Ring in a not so subtle way, and he's gonna get it for me for Xbox One. So no, do not get me Elden Ring. Do not get it for me. I, my boyfriend saw me play it for six straight hours. He's going to get it for me eventually. Where's that neutralizer? Bob? I'm scared. Should we... Should we just... Should, should we just kill them? Should, should, can, we, can we just, like, you know, destroy their souls? Oh, right, I'm not allowed to play Drake on the streams. Okay, never mind. Well, don't worry, my boyfriend will never see that clip. He'll never see that clip, because nobody knows my boyfriend except on Twitter. And some of you know him on Discord. Well, then. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so screwed. I am screwed. Oh God, I am so screwed now. Sent it? Lockborn already sent it. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. Maybe he won't notice it.
Oh God. Yes, I have work in five hours. Yes, I do have work in five hours. That has not stopped me before. I have went to work on the verge of vomiting. Drinking maple syrup has never stopped me before. And now, since everybody has not only shared the clip on Twitter, a place where I'm not going to be going on, I'm not going to be logging on Twitter until Lent is over, I am completely and utterly, totally screwed. Now he's going to wear me down just saying, I thought you didn't like Dark... I, did, I thought you didn't like Elden Rings. And I'm like, I thought you don't like Elden Rings. I thought you said... I need to put this down. He's gonna be like, I thought she said that Elden Rings is below you. Good night, Lockborn. Uh, good night, Lockborn. Um, I thought, I thought uh, Elden Rings is below you. I thought you didn't like Elden Rings. Oh, I thought you weren't the amazing up uptown goth girl that I thought you were. Ha ha ha. And then I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna straight up push him, like grab him by the shoulder, push him on the bed, and I'm gonna, like, pretty much, I am just gonna go ahead and just get on top of him and go, you listen to me very carefully, young man. You best not say those words to me. Never say those words to me. And I grind into him, saying, no, 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 do not, do not those that to me we're both on equal ground but right now I have the high ground right here so if you want to keep going teasing me I will tease you so hard that you'll just reach a point in your life where you're going to see your life flash before your eyes so if you want to tease me with your words, I can tease you so hard when I'm on top of you. I'm going to make you squirm. I'm going to make sure I have the high ground. And by the time I'm done, you will start smoking that cigarette. You will start smoking that cigarette and you won't know who has the most steam. Is it you or the cigarette? And then we'll start again in 10 minutes and I'm going to make you shudder. And that was the porno parody, Char Willy's Wonka and the Crotch Factory. I have the hard high groin. <laughs> You're giving me more incentive to send it to him. You know what, Clo Chloe? You know what? Go. Go send it to him. Go send it to him. Why not? I'm going to tell. I'm not. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. So there. I'm not going to say anything. Um. Willy's Wonka and the Crotch Factory. Watch out, Augustus. Augustus, look at Augustus. Oh my goodness, he's going into the pubic hair um, river. Oh God, he's dragged to the pubic hair. Where's he going? He's uh, going to uh, the Inferno, where a lot of the hair that's been put away has been, you know, shot into the Inferno. You know, because hair smells good on fire. No, actually, ignore that. It doesn't. Um, it's like, I'm extraordinarily busy right now. And then Willy's Wonka just goes like, etc., etc. You lose. 
good day. And it's like, instead of like ch the Charlie actually going like, no, I want to see the vi see where Violet grows in that parody. Oh, it's like this is an everlasting ejaculator, an everlasting ejaculator. Yes, an everlasting ejaculator. You see, it's not been fully tested yet, but it goes into like once you put it in your mouth and chew, it, you go into five intense orgasms in a row. Oh, let me see that. Oh. And then all of a sudden, like for a, and then for the next twenty minutes, it's gonna be a intense five, like uh, a a twenty minute orgasm where at each stage lasts five minutes, once more intense than the rest. Why is that not a thing? It probably is. To be honest, it probably is because it's a porno parody. Oompa loompa doopity doom. I see a woman that I want to bone. Or something along the lines of that. Um, yeah, the water, is cut, the water is hitting me, so I have no idea how I did that. I, I like to apologize. This is a usually a PG-13 stream unless, you know, I meant that pill. The pill. Which pill? I'm not sure what pill you're talking about. Because an everlasting gobstopper was pretty much like ch chewing. But it's not a pill, honestly. Oh! Oh, I thought... Oh, so the, or so the orgasm thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure that would be extraordinary dick. Honestly, like the everlasting ejaculator thing where you chew it. I'm pretty sure nobody would ever leave their house. There would be like dozens of them in stock. Like hundreds of thousands. Like, you know, just like an orgasm more intense than the last. Yeah. So wh honestly, why not? Eventually it might happen. Um, we have 3D printers, so why not? Eventually. And as for the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, porno parody, Willy's Wonka and the Crotch Factory, I'm pretty sure there's like a porno parody. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't like... It's going to be a parody of like... Um, it's going to be a parody of like... The entire story is going to be like a parody of um, the original... The Gene Wilder one, except Willy's Willy's Wonka is not going to be a G Gene Wilder, um, a Gene Wild uh Gene Wilder parody because you know, there's already enough parodies of Gene Wilder's uh, Willy Wonka, so why not Johnny Depp's? Mostly due to the fact that he already looks like a creepy person, who can be sexual at any point. Not, I love Johnny Depp, but that's one of his worst performances. I, again, love Johnny Depp. I think he's a fantastic. Okay, I don't. Okay, I don't love him. I think he's a creative person, especially in the '90s. Um, but I'm sorry. Um, no, in in the Charlie the Chocolate Factory, no. He's like one of the weakest part. Okay, here's the thing about that movie. The Tim Burton movie is very creative. Like, it's not as memorable as the original, but it is very creative. Um, the sets are creative. There's a dark aspect to it that only Tim Burton can put on. Um, the only reason why it's not well regarded today is because of the two main leads. You know, everybody has some sort of personality for the most part. Your mileage may vary on the uh, Grandpa Joe, but your mileage may vary. Like, the two leads are the weakest part of the movie. Like, Johnny Depp is not great as uh, Willy Wonka, and uh, Freddie Highmore is not great as Charlie Bucket. Like, honestly, I don't want to compare, but, like, Willy Wonka was an eccentric, but he know what knows what he was doing. He was a bunny ears lawyer. Like, yes, his motives were pretty much, like, wo not wonky, but how he presented his stuff was wonky. It absolutely was. But you got a sense that he was the chess master into like having a certain goal. 
Like, he had a goal in the long run, it's just that he had an eccentric way of putting it. So that's what made the original Willy Wonka so special. In the Johnny Depp version, you don't know what he's doing. Like, he doesn't have a goal. He has a backstory, but he you don't see a goal. He's just not eccentric. He's just really, really weird. Like, yeah, he's essentially really weird. And then there's um, Freddie Highmore as, um... Yeah, then there's Freddie Hart. Don't come in. Don't come in. Don't come in. Don't come in. Yeah, sorry. That was my nephew. Just, um... My nephew just, like, um... Yeah, my nephew just um, knocked on the door and I told him, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. And he opened the door. I'm like, oh, God. I'm like, and he didn't even close the door all the way through. Um, but um, where was I getting at? Um, so, um, Charlie, like, Freddie M Highmore as Charlie Bucket is pretty much, no, 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 absolutely not. Um, so, Charlie Bucket's, um... By Freddy Fr um Charlie Bucket is pretty much like Arnold from Hey Arnold. No luck. Um I have to yeah, no luck because, you know, I live here, so my dad's gonna say, Hey, um, why do you lock your door? Are you hiding something? And it's like So yeah, so I lose either way. So, you know, People can come in even though I tell them not to, and uh, in return I can't get a lock because my dad's gonna be like, "Why do you need a lock? Are you hiding from something?" I was like, "No, I just want them not to be in my room." It's like, "Why? They want to see your like, they want to see you." And I'm like, "So either way, either way, I'm screwed. You need a bear trap, or I can just get a trap from Saw. Um, you have to dig out your eye just to get the key. Um." But, um, what's the word I'm looking for? So, um, Charlie Bucket is pretty much like Arnold from Hey Arnold, you know? Like, if you look at it closely, like, the original Charlie Bucket was pretty much like, um, he was a kid. He had human emotions. He could be happy. He could be depressed. He can be angry. That's what he can be. He can actually be a human being, and that's why a lot of people can relate to him. Like, he can be angry, he can be greedy, he can be a liar. He can actually make mistakes. Just like the first half of Hey Arnold. Um, and then, uh, the later, like, the one in Willy Wonka is pretty much, like, the second part, uh, the, like, Hey Arnold, the main character in the second half of the show, where he's pretty much, like, he has no emotion, and he just tells people advice, like a Christ figure. Like, a literal Christ figure. Figure Like, everybody is, like, looking up to him, like he's this perfect person. I'm like, that's no kid. That's pretty much, like, what happens when, like, you. that's what people think are is a perfect kid. Like, somebody with no soul, you know? Somebody with absolutely no soul whatsoever. So it's like, so why should I actually just look? So you, like, you went from a person who actually had emotion that you can relate to, to somebody who doesn't have any emotions whatsoever, and you can't relate to them? There is no reason as to why you should just iron out the flaws and just make him a Marty Sue. A Marty Sue? A Marty Stu. Yeah, a Marty Sue. Like, there's no reason for that. The least you could do is just straight up, like, make him relatable somewhat. Just make him relatable like in the original. So, um... Didn't this discussion start with me saying that I just made fun of a porno parody for Charlie and the Chaka Factory. Willy's Wonka and the Chalk and the Crotch Factory. Yeah, I don't know where I was going. Like crumbs. Sometimes I don't even know what I. And I had a tall glass of water, so um, you know, two sips. Um, 
I'm surprised I'm keeping a bit sane right now because after this I'm going to go to bed and I have to wake up in three hours. Um, so this is pretty much it. Um, but uh, Chloe, actually, you know what? I forgot to mention this. While you weren't here, somebody actually came in and said that I was buff. Like, somebody said I was buff. Don't come in. I could deal with them, but I can't because, um, I really can't deal with them because, um, for legal reasons, I'm not allowed to because last time I dealt with somebody, they still haven't found them. Um, but, um, you missed it. Uh, earlier on, somebody came to the stream and said that I was a buff girl. It's like, somebody just said that I'm a buff girl. And it's like, you have muscles. You look jacked. I'm like, do I? Do I look? And I'm like, should I just flex like this? Um, oh my goodness. So apparently, estro like, estrogen just gives me muscles, apparently. Because I do lift at work. Like, at work, I do lift. So, um, apparently, I have muscles. Apparently. Because before estrogen, my, my arms were pretty much like sticks. Um, but now because of like, I don't know, I think it's estrogen. I, maybe it's because like, I, um, yeah, maybe it's because like, you have more muscles than me. Like again, Chloe, I've been working at a place where I have to be on my feet and I lift up heavy things. So, um, so yeah, um, apparently now that my body's changing, you can see the actual muscles. Um, ah, uh, you know, yeah. And every time my boyfriend sees the muscles, I'm like, So you like what you see? I bet you do like what you see. I absolutely know that you like what you see. Are you getting weaker? Somewhat. <clears throat> I'm getting somewhat weaker. That's mainly because I'm getting, a, I'm actually a little bit sluggish at the moment. Like I've been, sl I, I don't feel weak. I can still lift really heavy things. Apparently, like yeah, I can actually still lift heavy things. Um, and I'm on my and I'm on um, I'm on my feet for almost eight hours. Like I only sit down for thirty minutes. Um, no, actually, only twenty minutes. I sit down because like when like. So, for example, my shift starts at 3, but I'm usually around there, like around the work area at around 2.30. And that's when I'm on my feet. And I do not, and I'm on my feet the entire time until around 7.30 when I actually have to go to lunch and I'm sitting on the, a flight of stairs so I can read for about 20 minutes. And then I'm usually up again at the punch clock and I don't actually sit down again until I get in the car, which is around 1135. So yeah, um, essentially I'm on my feet and, um, I didn't like, I didn't notice that I actually was getting muscles until people kept bringing it up. You know, I didn't, I absolutely didn't know I would, I actually had muscles, you know? I thought I was just shrinking, but turns out, no, I have muscles, apparently. So, I'm like, nice. That was pretty much me. I'm like, nice. I have muscles, apparently. Um, yeah, it's like pretty insane. Um... But um, nobody in my house actually, except my sister, has seen my arms because my parents don't know that I'm trans, and so like, um, they don't like 
my sister actually like sees I don't know if she does see a change, but she hears my voice change a little bit. So yeah. Um Kiara should punch all those right wingers with her muscles. I think yeah, I could do that. Just like use these muscles and just do this. Come here. Come can you come here for a minute? Put your face right here. Uh, uh, instead of, you know, just uh, or whatever. I'm not as buff as Abigail Beck. Like, she is buff. Abigail Beck is buff. I am not buff. And I know I should not be comparing. I know I should not be comparing. But God, she is... Oh, she's buff. This is nothing. She is buff. Punch Ben Shapiro? I will. Um... I just need um, brass knuckles and I'm all good. Um, but yeah, um, maybe one day I can work on get. I'm never going to get abs. I don't want abs because that is too much work. That would absolutely be too much work. So no abs for me, thank you. Um, yeah, no abs. Um, that could... Jesus, Chloe. Say what you want to say. Tell us how you really feel. Um, oh my god, it's almost been two hours, and I really gotta sleep this tall glass of water off. Oh, wait, I didn't even, like, type it in. So, everybody, thank you all so much for coming by. Um, thank you, Lockborn, for sharing the 500 bits. Thank you for being here whatsoever. Thank you, Kamuxco, for the follow. I apologize if I didn't say your name earlier um we're gonna be here probably tomorrow um i gotta sleep off this tall glass of water somehow i actually lasted this long um i miss nami serene maybe i could raid her tomorrow you know i'll tell you what tomorrow i will raid nami serene if she's on um because it's 7 30 right now honestly so um yeah, um, to some people, you're probably wondering why I'm streaming so early. It's daylight savings time, and I lost an hour. So um, that's the reason why my um, my streams have been at a weirder schedule. But yeah, we are going to raid Brevi Button. Um, so everybody, thank you all so much for coming by. I'll be back here tomorrow for whatever. And um, we are going to... Yeah, so... Again, I'm Kiara Strings. I'm a trans woman, and this has been the early, early stream. Thank you, and have a good one. I think I'll put this on YouTube. I think I'll put this whole stream on YouTube. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs>